So um, now that we've heard from Sunny a little bit about the cloud observation, I want to show you a clip from Stephanie Hauser, who was one of our more recent um, members to work with us on the school team. And she's going to talk about her recent experience at the American Geophysical Union fall meeting, which happened about a month ago in San Francisco. Um, Stephanie has unfortunately moved away from the area, so she left us a video clip that we're going to then show you. Hi, everyone. My name is Stephanie, and I just returned from the AGU conference in San Francisco, California. At this, conference, at this conference, scientists from all over are invited to present and discuss their current research as well as talk about their possible future research. My job at the conference was to show and discuss the research that I have done with the school project. My main activity with the school project has been to compile all the data and look at the data to see where we have agreement and disagreement with our satellite observations and the ground truth observations that you have been collecting and doing over the past several years. As you can see behind me is the actual poster that I presented at the conference. And what we did, uh, one of the first things we wanted to look at was the overall picture, the big picture from all of our data that has been collected. We made maps over several areas on the entire globe. We have the United States, we have Europe, and we also have Central and South America. On these maps, we made little grid squares corresponding to the different locations of you at your school all over the globe. And then using your observations, we were able, able to compile different averages of different cloud properties. Like cloud cover was one of them that we used, basically saying that if we have overcast skies most of the time, or if there's pa partly cloudy skies most of the time, we were able to see this on our maps. We then took those maps and compared them with the satellite observations to see if they agree most of the time or they disagree most of the time. And where they do disagree, we were able to look closer and see what was really going on there. Some of those instances occur when we have some contrails and the satellite might not identify them as contrails. They might say that they are upper level cirrus clouds. Another case we found is when you go out and you might see an overcast low level cloud and you can't really see above it. There might be another cloud layer up there. But if you can't see it, you're not going to write it down. Well, the satellite, because it's looking from above down on the clouds, it will actually see that upper level layer. So you might just see one layer. They're going to see two layers. And there we have a disagreement. At the conference, I was supposed to stand by my, co my poster for a couple hours. This way, different scientists could come up to me ask questions about school, talk about um, the research that we have done this, this far, and just discuss it. I had several school teachers come up to me that participate in the school project, as well as other NASA scientists and university professors. Even a librarian came up to me and was really excited to see that we were doing this. Most of them asked questions about where our schools are located, how many schools we have participating, and a lot of them were really happy to see that we have implemented this in so many schools and that we're inspiring young scientists all over the place. So as we mark our 12th anniversary of the school project today, I want to say thank you for all your hard work for going out and looking up and seeing the clouds and giving us your observations. Without them, this project really wouldn't be possible. So continue to go out and continue to send us your observations. So happy cloud observing. <laughs>